Hello, good morning, everyone. In this video, I will give you a guide for chapter one of the uh, Java book. Now for chapter one, you can skip the uh, first three sections. If you already know about uh, computer basics, you can now just read this uh, section 1.4 and then 1.5, 1.6, and get into 1.7. And you need to read everything in section 1.7 <clears throat> and then read the rest of the uh, uh, chapter. And here, when you get to the end, you can choose one of these two IDEs using NetBeans or Eclipse. I recommend to most of the students, if they don't uh, know any of the IDE, they can pick NetBeans. Uh, it's easy to install and easy to learn. Now, after this, all this reading, you need to go to install some software. So I'm going to go to this uh, link right here. You can look at this is the link and type in this link. You can do a search. Uh, just search uh, Daniel Liang Java videos. You can get to this link. From this link, and this is all the Java videos, you need to first download and install JDK. Now, it does not have to be JDK 14. It's any of the uh, uh, most recent JDK is fine. So right now, uh, JDK 18, that's perfectly fine. So after this, install JDK. So that's the uh, Java uh, runtime system and development tool. And then you can install NetBeans. So this is the latest version, NetBeans 15. So install here and watch this video here, developing Java programs using NetBeans. So it's everything, just a short video to show you how to download and install NetBeans and then use NetBeans. So this is the latest version 15. All right, so just follow the step. So this is the first step, JDK and then NetBeans. And here from this point on, and if you follow this video, you can create a project, create a Java program, and compile and run your Java program. And this is your development tool. You can write your Java code. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the uh, book. So the book has a site exercise. So this is the uh, simple ones here. It's a quiz right here, uh, section 1.7. So you can see the quiz right here. So this is mostly writing uh, the one line code. So you can just write, write a statement that prints, hello, uh, what? So you just write one line code, system dot out dot print line. Hello, what? All right, uh, now if you make a mistake, so for example here, you mistype this, it should be lowercase l and you uh, type it uh, uppercase l and you're gonna see uh, here is a mistake here identify with cast arrow and print L N. All right, what you do, just go to the book, compare this syntax from the code in the book, character by character, and you're gonna see this is the problem right here. So this is the problem and fix it. All right, so suppose you make another mistake here uh, because it's a statement, you don't have the uh, statement termination um, the uh, semicolon, 
And here you're going to get another error. So you get this uh, feedback and you almost certainly should be using a semicolon. So here is a semicolon. All right, so everything is good. And now submit, it's a nice work. All right, and so this is the, uh, all these quizzes. At the end of every chapter, we have programming projects. All right, so let's pick one here is uh, programming project four. All right, so here we go. So please note that if you read the description, there's always right here is if you get a logical or runtime error, please refer this right here, refer this. Okay. All right, so you can now and copy and paste this. Okay, and you only need to read this one time, all right, and come back to reference the letter. So um, there's one thing is very useful every time you write your code. Here is the uh, hint page for uh, selected quizzes and programming projects. So this is the one. This is the link. So click on this link right here. It's this is the link for the hints. All right, this is very important. So if you look at this, the uh, uh, hints for end of section assignments. So this is just a very selected uh, a couple of ones. And this is a very uh, comprehensive also almost for every programming project. So here, look at this one here is programming project four. So now this is the check exercise tool. It's a direct link for check exercise tool. Here is this is the hint. So you're gonna have look at the hint. So what you're gonna do this. Um, so the hint. So the hint, this is the one here. You write your complete code. All right, so we're gonna write the code um, and submit it. And right here and, and put it right here and submit it. But I recommend you always go to this check exercise tool first. So here's the, write your code in the on your development tool. So afterwards, you're going to uh, copy and paste it and into this. So I'm going to have this right here. Exercise zero. One zero one extra, and this is the one. All right, so this is the one. I'm gonna copy and paste right here. And here is the discriminant for this. So look at this, is the discriminant. It's, it's this is exactly here. I write a program that computes discriminant for this equation, for the equation right here. So, uh, so here, you when you write your code right here so i'm going to go back to the check exercise too uh, only use the features you have learned so far up to this chapter so in this chapter we don't have the uh, declare a variables assign values like this you you don't don't need to do and this then see the variables you just put the numbers directly here See, you don't have to say, hey, I'm going to have this is A, B, so this is the uh, 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 C, right? I'm going to go to look at this here is the uh, uh, three, uh, four, five. Yes, like this. Uh, so you don't have to do this, okay? So here is using all these variables. No, no, there's no need for doing this. Just put your stuff put your code directly put your number directly right here don't use any features um, you have not learned so far so this is the ones here all right now for some reason you just made a mistake like this so here uh you when you do this automatic uh, check 
So you automatically check and you're gonna see something is wrong right here. And so this is not recognized. Just go to look at the book, look at the code in the book and compare your code with the correct code in the book, character by character. You're gonna see something's wrong here. All right, so now you can check it. Click on this automatic check. All right, everything is right. And now you can copy and paste it into right here. And then now you submit it. Okay, if your program works here in the checks exercise tool, but it does not work when you submit it to Rebel, you can email me. I will uh, look at it and give you uh, feedback. All right, so uh, again, um, please watch this video, uh, follow the steps uh, for the development uh, of your Java uh, programming exercises and using the check exercise tool uh, to check the correctness of your code and before you submit it to Rebel. That is all for this, uh, the guide uh, to uh, chapter one. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.